Hi guys, um, it's Kit. This is my first tutorial video. I'm so excited to be doing this. I've never done any of these before, but I know that lots of people always ask me different questions in my art, so I thought that this would be a cool thing to bring into my YouTube channel. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and also let me know in the comments if there's anything I can improve on or what else you'd like to see a tutorial on. So, um, I think it would be cool to do my first tutorial on Painterly just because when I first started drawing, I didn't think it was something I could ever really do. I thought that it was just this super huge ex like expert pro Photoshop thing that people would do. But um, I'm just using Pencil Sci. Um, it's a cheap-ish program. It's cheaper than Photoshop. Um, there are also like really other great programs that you can do the same style on. I'll have them linked in the description that are free and they're super super great. Um, so right now I'm just blocking in the colors underneath the sketch. I love using neon kind of colors um, on skin tone also, but even like just slightly having it saturated. So like um, if you look at her cheeks, I added some yellow and pinks uh, that are definitely brighter than her skin. Her skin's more on the grayest side. I think this is just something that really helps um, have the blush and the flushness on her face stand out more. And I have the same thing with Marco too, so you get an example on slightly deeper complexion. He's not very dark, but I'll probably do a video on that too if anyone wants to know how to draw like different mm. skin tones. Um, so yeah, um, I'm also taking advantage of my line art color. I used a dark blue instead of black because mm. I want this piece to be pretty pastel and I know that I won't be going any darker than that blue besides the eyes just because that's something I personally do I like having really dark eyes but besides that um you can see like some aspects of this I'm taking the color from the line art like um the bottom of her hair right now is kind of greenish that's kind of pulled from the line art because I've now flattened the drawing I think flattening out your drawing um when you're trying to do painterly is very very helpful just because like when you're drawing in real life um painting on a canvas with acrylic that's how you would do it you don't have layers or anything like that so that's just my tidbit you don't have to do that at all but I'm just letting you know that this is all being drawn in one layer now um, right now I'm just just fixing some things because I don't have any line art. It's all one layer like I said um, I am having brighter sections where I want it to stand out more and this little chart that I've inserted Sorry, I haven't like mentioned a chart at all. It's just been sitting there um, This is a pretty nice introduction for skin color I think for when you want to use color theory because explaining color theory is way too long honestly, I would not be able to Ever possibly make a video on that. Um, I can have helpful links in the description below though if you are interested still, just because it's something that's pretty important to learn color theory, I'm pretty sure, especially if you're doing digital painting and know that you want to do a lot of it. So these little colors are actually from makeup tutorials for color correcting, um, like foundation and stuff like that. So for redness, I like using it for drawings just because I think it applies the same way there, how I want someone's face to look. And I also just use the same principle for clothing as well. How you can see the blueness in her dress, I added some orangey pinks, so that would be like the peach section that they have across from it, they're complementary. just because the brush tool can make it look watered down and I don't always want that everywhere. 
Um, I made an outline on this little pink ghosty thing on her shirt by going to effects and clicking fringe and you can add the width for however deep or thick you want the line to be. It's pretty simple, it's pretty useful, not everyone knows how to do that, but it's really nice. Um, so going on, I'm adding the blue to her star because the star is yellow, so just constantly thinking what colors go together on the color wheel. You want to look at things that make like a Y shape, like if you draw the letter Y, like just capital letter Y, um, and looking at it on the color wheel, those will go together. If you go directly across, those will go together. Um, color theory is just a really huge subject. I really encourage you to educate yourself on that because it's something really important to learn, honestly. because the skin is a deeper color, I'm thinking of what things look earthy and what goes with brown. So that's why like, I chose to make his nose look like this greenish blue color because I associate like brown with greens. They go very well together. They just look natural and nice and soft. Right now I'm just fixing her hands, just going over it with the pen tool and making it better. I'm always so messy when I do painterly and it's it's kind of <laughs> encouraging sometimes. <laughs> Lots of paintings that I've done, I haven't recorded doing it because I'll have the sketch already made when I think to myself, am I going to record this? Is this going to be a video? And oftentimes, if it's going to be something painterly, I look at the sketch and I'm like, wow, this is so messy. It's so dirty. It's probably not going to come out good at all. But then it ends up coming out really nice because you need to take lots of time and adding in layers. Everything about Painterly is going in and adding layers. That's why I like doing it digitally way more than I like doing it traditionally because a painting on a canvas, you have to wait for your paint to dry. And I'm very, very, very impatient. So digital is just right up my alley. With stars and wings right now, I'm adding some depth. I like adding blues for depth, that's normally what you do to add things like that. Um, so that's why like under the base of her wings there are like some light blues. I also had it more saturated than the light pink and I just used a brighter blue as shading even though <laughs> it's supposed to be shaded. So you can go against the rules of what you originally think because it's art, you don't have to follow the rules of life. You can use unnatural colors, you can use blues and yellows and purples on her face and have it not look too outrageous like she's an alien, it just looks like an aesthetic. And if you want to go back to the color chart, I have that in the description as well also. actually finally drawing in her legs and her shoes and using the deselect tool to make things less messy so I only have to do it once kind of thing. Unlike her hands where I have to like go over it quite a few times. to her hair a few different colors that I haven't really had as predominant as before. I added some pinks and oranges into her hair and the very top of her hair I didn't really mention it. I could have easily used white 
as the highlight on top of her hair but I decided to use lilac because on that chart I had previously um, yellow and purple contradict each other so I'm having that to kind of raise and add some more fluffiness to this because it is a pastel piece. Um, I'll probably make a different kind of Pinterly tutorial later in the future once I get more subscribers so make sure you just subscribe <laughs> um, if you want to do like a more natural painterly like something more realism rather than like this fluffy fan art <laughs> um, so again just let me know what you want <laughs> knows how to make a like make a line like make your image have like an outline on it without having to draw it yourself in white and have it be all all uneven i'll make a video of that too in the future i just it, it's going too fast to explain it right now <laughs> now I made it multiplied sorry um, the orange that I put was just an airbrush and overlay and wow that's already the end of the video um thanks for watching I really hope it was helpful like subscribe comment do all that biz I have my other social media in the below yep just follow. Thanks. Bye.